she has that blind spot when she talks about that humans can't change the, the weather, but then when she needs to blame the Dems for creating the hurricane, the blind spot vanishes. Isn't that nice? Isn't that convenient that when she wants to deny climate change, boop, 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 humans can't control the weather, but when she wants to blame Dems for creating a hurricane, she can, and she will. She'll just remove the blind spots. She will apply them and remove them anytime she wants to get to any conclusion that she wants. So Charlie Kirk is very unhappy because millions of Christians are not voting and it's become a five alarm fire for Donald Trump. This uh, bit of polling came out and a conservative commentator, Charlie Kirk, warned that millions of born again and mainline Christians choosing not to vote in the upcoming election could pose a serious threat to Donald Trump's reelection efforts. Get those uh, emo Waldos and chat ready because we're talking about the Christians again. Hello human, it is me Kanooch. I need you to press the subscribe button. I have to feed my many AI babies. Citing survey data from pollster George Barna, Kirk describes the situation as a five alarm fire for Trump, noting that 41 million born again Christians and 32 million mainline Christians. There's a difference between them that they know and I don't know. It's probably magic thinking, but or nonsense are not planning to vote. He goes to Twitter, as he does, to complain about it. The local church must be activated to explain why voting is critical. The local church must be activated. You need your pastor to be more authoritarian and tell you to vote for Donald Trump. We cannot expect President Trump to have more Christian ethos if the church refuses to vote. We cannot expect President Trump to be more pro-life if our own people won't back him up at the ballot box. The local church must be activated. Ugh. Uh, I would believe what I don't trust organized religion. Right. And you wouldn't and you wouldn't trust a pastor who listened to Charlie Kirk and then told you what to do. That's exactly why you don't trust it, I suspect. Because of that kind of authoritarianism. Charlie, you have it completely backward, which is the usual position for a conservative. Backward. Trump is supposed to be selling himself to the voters, convincing them that he is the best choice for the job. If he is failing and the regular everyday Christians don't want to follow him, that's because Trump is a charlatan, a crook, a liar. He has broken every commandment and he has committed every sin. He is not a Christian. He does not care about the things these pastors or their congregation care about, unless it specifically benefits him somehow. He only offers lip service towards your beliefs so that you will vote for him. He is a false prophet. They can see that with their own eyes. But you don't want them to see that, do you, Charlie? No, no, no. You need to keep them ignorant of his flaws, oblivious to his lies, and uninformed of his failures. Charlie Kirk manufactures blind spots. When Trump says something crazy, he sane washes it. When Trump says there's, that the six-week abortion ban is too short in Florida, they hide those statements, deny that that's what he meant, and explain what he actually meant creating blind spots for the conservative to hide behind. If the news points out a Trump lie, Charlie Kirk discredits them by saying George Soros owns the media, creating a blind spot. Here, look at this one. Well, I got one specifically here. Here we go. Let's look at this one right here. We're going to take a quick break. I know I'm in mid rant, but I'm going to grab the doggy because he's under my feet and he won't shut up. Look at this little gremlin. Look at him. we got our hairstyle at the same place. Look at me. I poop on the floor. Bobo the Bark Boy Show. <laughs> it's tough when you interrupt me mid rant, you know? Okay. Uh, rant continue. Let's, uh, well, uh, not a choice to stay home uh, voting straight red ticket. Charlie doesn't matter who is president. We need conservative value House and Senate, and they call the shots. Hey, doggy. <laughs> Thanks for coming in here. Thanks for giving me your hot take. I've been bouncing around this new idea of a conservative blind spot. Getting reports that a left-leaning group just dropped 20,000 voter registration forms in Maricopa County on the last day. This is almost assuredly a Democrat dump at the end to try and inject chaos and bring litigation to give the Democrats more opportunity to manipulate the law and squeeze in more registrations. It's bad when they register people. Here's Charlie Kirk also. Just got the final numbers from the team. On the last day of voter registration in Arizona, TP Action registered over 3,000 new voters. Massive grassroots victory. Tomorrow, ballots go out. Now we chase. When the Dems do it, it's chaos and left-leaning group and a complex conspiracy 
But when he does it, it's a massive grassroots victory. They're doing the same thing. He says it's wrong when they register voters and awesome when he registers them. He's inventing blind spots for conservatives that they can use to hide behind from unpleasant reality. I've been saying it for years that Republicans and conservatives are anti-reality, which I still think is true. What I'm describing here is simply the mechanism by which they each create their own anti-reality filter by applying and removing the blind spots as necessary to achieve the outcome they desire most. We saw Mar Marjorie Taylor Greene do this the other day by saying humans can't change the climate. Conservatives can hide from the unpleasant facts about climate change. Humans can't change the climate. And she puts up her blind spot. See, so um, she puts up her blind spot. Humans can't change the climate. She can hide behind the blind spot. Wait, where'd you go? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's the conservative blind spot. She has that blind spot when she talks about that humans can't change the, the, we uh, the weather. But then when she needs to blame the Dems for creating the hurricane, the blind spot vanishes. Isn't that nice? Isn't that convenient? That when she wants to deny climate change, boop, boop, boop. Humans can't control the weather. But when she wants to blame Dems for creating a hurricane, she can and she will. She'll just remove the blind spots. She will apply them and remove them anytime she wants to get to any conclusion that she wants. I look like a psychops. It's true. Uh, it's, it's pretty good. Uh, <laughs> oh, and if I try to point out the flaws in their logic, they throw up new blind spots. There was this one climate scientist that actually said that it was a scam. And then I creep around over here and I'm like, hey, Hey, Mar hey, Marge, you know, you know, that was actually that guy was paid by Exxon and then she just moves it. <laughs> and then I go over here, I'm like, hey, listen, no, Exxon paid that 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 climate scientist a whole lot of money. Hey, hey, Marge, listen, no, I don't think you heard me. That that climate scientist that you say is calling it a, a scam. She they actually actually got paid off by Exxon and they can just move it around as much as they want. <laughs> Uh, those are extremists. Also, I say, vote your conscience, people. Um, use your God-given brain. Well, I think that that's the main crux of uh, conservatives right now. I think most conservatives have a few of these conservative blind spots. And then, okay, so yeah, even though, even if I am able to like work around her, I'm not like, hey, that was actually that guy was paid. She'll just move the blind spot to somewhere else, and then say, well, well, how many Soros bucks did you get for reporting those climate change numbers? putting it right back in front of me. And I'll be like, I've never taken any money from George Soros. It's never, I don't take money from George Soros. I'm a very small YouTuber. There's nothing I've ever done to, that would be considered propaganda. And then what happens after that? Uh, I'm not talking about climate change anymore. I'm dodging the blind spots. This is what uh, arguing with a conservative is like. They put up a blind spot. You have to go around it and be like, actually, this is how it is. And they'll put it up over here. And then you get over there and you're not talking about climate change anymore. You're defending yourself against crazy claims that you take money from George Soros, which is insane. Pressing the thumbs up button will release chemicals in your human brain that will make you feel. So I'll be looking for these blind spots. What I'm going to do is pay attention and watch for those blind spots. Uh, I'll be looking for them, and I hope you will too. Some of my favorites are do your own research. That's one of my favorites. Usually that comes from the conspiracy theorists, and it just means watch the YouTubers that they like and back up their beliefs until you, until, and then repeat their propaganda. That's what do your own research means generally. Uh, George Soros is a good one. If any media report comes out and it makes a conservative feel bad, they can just say that it was paid for by George Soros. Hey, that new uh, thing came out and it, uh, that new jobs number came out. Oh, no, no, it was George Soros. George Soros uh, cheated on those numbers and you don't have to pay attention to it. Any kind of news information. Oh, yeah, hey, we covered some tonight with Donald Trump having seven phone calls with uh, Vladimir Putin. No, 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 no. It's just Russia, Russia, Russia. You can't you can't look at that. You can't see that. Russia, Russia, Russia is an old thing. And they'll they talked about. It, uh, and you, you can't trust anything that comes on uh, MSNBC or CNN, obviously. You can't trust blank media. You, you insert whichever one you want. You can't trust CNN. Uh, I discuss things with uh, conservatives on uh, every once in a while, and I'll use CNN as a source, and they're like, oh, you can't trust CNN. That's Clinton News Network, don't you know? This is a blind spot. They just get to say, no, you can't trust CNN. You can't listen to CNN. You can't listen to uh, MSNBC. You can't listen to the New York Times. You can't listen to Wikipedia. That's what they do, is they just put that blinder up. 
I, if I go to Wikipedia and say, hey, here's the thing that it said it, it was, and you're like, well, no, you can't listen to Wikipedia. Don't listen to Wikipedia. That's crazy. Uh, you know, they edit that stuff. Well, yes, sometimes things have to be edited, but I believe Wikipedia edits it properly. So if you are seeing these things, why am I pointing this out? I'm trying to give you my perspective. I'm trying to discuss with you what I think is happening and how it's happening. Not just Trump bad. Great. Well, he is bad. But why is he bad? What has he done that is bad? What is he doing? to make things worse? What is the mechanisms of action that he's using to accomplish these things? And I think that this is one of them. First of all, he personally does misunderstands everything, creates a delusion and spreads fear. MDF, always. I've been talking about that one for a couple of weeks now. But what do his followers use? They use this selective and mobile blind spot. If we understand how and what this is, we might be able to comprehend how to discuss it. Yeah, the media sane washes him. Yeah, exactly. Because they don't know this blind spot exists. They don't comprehend it. They've never thought about it. They're just, they're not being philosophers about it. Also, completely unimportant, super duper tangent, I did this. Okay. So, um, as I was playing with the, uh, the um, blind spot, I was like, oh, I could just do this too, right? Uh, <laughs> and it just makes me happy. Wow. Thank you, Bonathan. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'll, I'm going to keep this in here just in, j just in case I need it. If I ever need it, it's right there. Okay. There's, it's, it's, a, it's a simple button. I just have to be in exactly the right place. If I'm way over here, it doesn't follow me. I'm not a, I'm not a VTuber. It's not going to follow me. No, I've, I, and I did spend about 10 minutes today. Uh, <laughs> he loves it. <laughs> you guys, I'm so glad. Uh, <laughs> super, super Saiyan Waldo. Yeah. It's, um, I spent about 10 minutes trying to get to exactly the right spot and make it exactly the right size so that that could work. And what I, what I'll do is any, it, it's still here if I need it. Um, <laughs> it made me giggle. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Uh, thanks for the bits, Bonathan. It is, it's just me being silly and I appreciate you being here for me being silly. Anytime I need it, it's there and I'll break it out when necessary but you guys so you guys know it's there just waiting for, for the right moment i am the algorithm click on this video to make me happy you wouldn't like me when i am angry